So in this video, we are going to explore Pega Create Case API and how to create a case from one application to another application in Pega. Let's test the API first from API page. Create an OU 2.0 client and enable the client credentials and password credentials grant types. Now go to create cases and try it out. You can add the following elements to new cases. Add scalar properties inside content object. Add pages, page lists and page groups inside the instructions array. Add attachments inside the attachments array. Define the initial fields in allowed starting fields data transform that users see when they create new cases. Now execute the API and see the newly created case. You can see the scalar properties are populated with the provided values. Now let's add a page group and test. We have added work party page group here to initialize the customer party. Next, we'll set up the data page and configure the case API from App Studio. This can then be executed from one application to create a case in another application. Now create a read-only data page and source the default data transform. Go to App Studio and open the data page and click on Configure Save Options. Copy the Access Endpoint token from your previously created OAuth record. Also, enter the client ID and secret from the downloaded credentials from the OAuth record. Add scalar properties inside content object. Add pages, page lists and page groups inside the instructions array. Next, create an activity or data transform to pass the required post data and run the savable data page. Pass the case type class for which you need to create a case. Lastly, call the activity from your calling application to create the case in another application. 